Lawmakers in the Louisiana House Committee unanimously passed a Senate-approved bill Thursday, April 26, that is designed to help community college students get top scholarships and continue on to a bachelor's degree. Senate Bill 394, sponsored by State Sen. Mac, Body, White, R. Baton Rouge, would create a new TOPS award for community college students planning to enroll into a four-year school after they earn an associate's degree. The House Education Committee passed his bill to the House floor, and the governor will still have to sign it into law. The TOPS program has four different award categories, Tech, Opportunity, Performance and Honors. Tops Tech has the least stringent eligibility requirements and offers the lowest dollar amount, while Tops Performance and Tops Honors have the toughest requirements and offer higher dollar amounts. Students are currently eligible for the Tech Award if they graduate high school with a grade point average of 2.5 and obtain a score of 17 or better on the ACT College Readiness Test. Under White's bill, students graduating high school during or after the 2021-22 school year would be eligible for the Tops Tech 2 Plus 2 Award after they accepted the Tech Award. Tech 2 Plus 2 recipients would also have to maintain a 3.2 GPA during their two years at a community or technical college, and they must earn their associate's degree within the two academic years after they accepted the TOPS Tech Award. Once Tech 2 Plus 2 recipients enroll at a four-year university, they would have to maintain a 2.5 GPA to keep TOPS. White said his bill will provide incentives for students to stay in Louisiana for college if they are capable of getting a high GPA, even if they may have scored poorly on the ACT. Although he stressed the bill would give students a second chance, it received some opposition from James Kaylier, the executive director of the Patrick F. Taylor Foundation. Kaylier, who said he helped develop TOPS, said the Tech Award is a non-academic, non-college program meant to fund vocational and technical education. Regardless, state rep. Walt Leger, D. New Orleans, said some students at a community or technical college might decide to pursue a higher level of education later. Leger also added that many four-year college students later realize they would perform better at a two-year college first. White's bill received passage days after senators on April 9 voted 26 to 9 to pass it to the House. White's new TOPS award would cost the state approximately $108,000 annually beginning in 2025, according to a fiscal note from the Legislative Fiscal Office. The office stated, however, that the amount would double in 2026. White's bill is one of several TOPS bills being considered this year as the state faces a $648 million budget deficit starting July 1, forcing lawmakers to either approve new revenues or cut spending. The House last Thursday voted for a state operating budget that would only fund 80% of TOPS for the 2018-19 school year. Concerns about cuts to TOPS also fueled the sponsorship of another TOPS bill that was debated by lawmakers Thursday. Gary Carter, D. New Orleans, said his House Bill 399 would eliminate stipends to TOPS performance and honors recipients in order for that money to support scholarships for the remaining TOPS recipients. Carter's bill would only go into effect in the event of insufficient funding to TOPS, and it would only distribute funding to Opportunity and Tech recipients based on both academic performance and the recipient's family income. Lawmakers, however, considered the current form of his bill too complicated for residents, so Carter voluntarily deferred it to give himself and committee members more time to work through potential amendments. Wilburn P. Nobles III is an education reporter based in New Orleans. He can be reached at wnobles at nola.com or on Twitter at at willnobles.